People will tell you you can't do things. They'll tell you that you need their help and their instruction and their products to be able to function. Well, don't buy into what other people are telling you because they want to keep you in a place where you need their assistance to function so they can keep you as a client, as a customer to make money. But what you can and cannot do, that choice is yours. It is only yours. Let me give you an example. By the way, you see my wrist is healed now. So the person, the OT who was working with me said, when I go back for my review with the orthopedist, even if it's healed, he's going to tell you he can't drive yet. I didn't want to argue with her, but I knew in my mind and I knew what I was putting out to the universe was, yes, he'll tell me I'm fine to drive. So what do you think happened? He said, yes, you're fine to drive. Now here's the other thing. The step before that, in the orthopedist's office, he had somebody put a splint on me and says, whatever you do, do not remove it. You have to keep it on. Well, keeping it on, first of all, hurt. And secondly, thank goodness I had a very good OT who said, how are you supposed to strengthen your hand? I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do much of anything because wearing a splint after wearing two different casts made my hand pretty much immobile. What happens to muscles if you don't use them? They're going to atrophy. I knew what I could do, and I didn't care what other people were telling me I could or couldn't do. And that's been happening throughout my entire healing process. And I watched very carefully as these people who were supposed to be helping us to get better were delaying our ability to heal. Now, thank goodness. I woke up pretty quickly to that reality. I asked for help being able to move her in a certain kind of staircase. And the physical therapist said, oh, that's a lot of work. I have to talk to you for a whole long time to show you how to do it. I went on YouTube. I saw a video. I said, okay, that works. I did what I saw in the video. It worked perfectly and safely. You know when you're safe. You feel it in your heart. Don't be looking up here in your mind. You got to feel it in your heart because that is where the knowing is. So what is it that you know you can do that somebody's telling you, no, you can't, not yet, maybe never. You're the only one who knows. And it's your choice to live your life your way and to tune into your body. Because if you don't tune into your body, you're not going to know what you really are capable of doing and what you are preparing to be capable of doing. So you don't want to just say, oh, I can do it and jump into it, unless your heart knows that. Because if your heart knows it, it's sending a message to your body. It's sending a message to the universe, which is going to help you manifest what you're desiring to accomplish. Now, I've been on a real adventure unpacking in my home because I haven't been able to have all the help that I want and need. And I was lifting heavy boxes when I wasn't supposed to be lifting heavy boxes. I was doing it carefully so I wouldn't hurt myself. And I have everything pretty much unpacked, put away, and I'm just waiting for my desk so I can take my office that I very neatly arranged in my kitchen area and I can just roll it all right in when I get my desk in the other 
Uh, oh, yeah. When the movers were moving my stuff in, they dropped one of the big boxes of things. And it happened to be my writing. So I decided to jump in and face all that was going on with the disarray of all my writing. And when I talk about all my writing, I started writing when I was eight years old. I'm 72 now. That's a lot of writing. I'm talking thousands of pages. Almost all of them are songs, are poems, are songs that I wrote into books, and a whole lot of inspirational things that sometimes I make into sometimes. memes. I just go ahead and make greeting cards for them. And what I'm doing because I'm trying to sort thousands of pages, a whole lifetime of my writing, so that it makes sense. And frankly, it's overwhelming. So my goal is to get it organized enough to give to my best editor in the whole world, because I trust how she can organize it and see what's worth publishing and what may not be worth publishing. So, what is it that you would really like to do in your life that maybe some people are telling you, no, you can't, but you know in your heart you can. And I thank you for joining me here today for our gathering, which is Let's Get Metaphysical Connecting Heart and Mind. I will remind you, I don't just want to, I'm reminding you to join our Facebook group. Ask questions. Make a friend. I'm getting very, very close. I don't want to do it yet. I'm not going to go into Facebook every day to go into our group to talk to you. It'll be a couple more weeks because I have all these priorities that I have in my life. That's not number one. I'm still making sure my health is 100% because, hey, if you don't have your health, you don't have anything. So join our Facebook group, join our community, and that will entitle you to join me for a live chat, a video chat every month. It's important to build your experience of life. And for me, the best way to do that is books. So I like to have a book I read every day that I hold in my hand because I like to read words. And I also have a very large library of audiobooks. Audible is giving you a free 30-day trial. You choose a book of your choice and go in and see all the amazing stuff that you can do inside of Audible. And if you decide to not go on after the 30-day trial, you get to keep the book that you were given as a gift. So the link for that and all the other links I mentioned are in the show notes. You want to go ahead and take advantage of that offer because whatever kind of book you're into, jump in so you can own it. I play audible books in the morning, I play them during the night, I play them at night. I like to listen to things. What do you like to listen to? Tell me and let me see if I can give you more of it. One thing that I've been finding as I've been going through those thousands of pages of my writing is the songs I've been writing since I was eight years old. Boy, I've got a lot of them, and I've only recorded a thousand of them. So, you have more to look forward to as soon as this hand can completely play guitar again. And I'm looking forward to that because I couldn't do this a week ago, but I can do it now. Because in here and in here, I said, I can do this. I'm ready to do this. I can handle it, and you also can handle whatever you know you're ready to handle. Don't let somebody else keep you stuck 
because they will do that. Because for some weird reason, other people think they know more about you and your body than you do. So pay attention to your body, know it. And then even if you're seeing some kind of practitioner, you know what's a fit for you and what isn't. Remember to enjoy every moment that's capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, because nothing in life happens outside of your physical body and mind. You don't see out there. You see back up in here in your brain. You hear in your brain. You feel, touch, smell, all the different areas of your brain and body. I look forward to seeing you here next time.